Pepler here inside our Campus Insider Studios. The brackets for the 2014 NCAA Tournament officially revealed on Sunday, and yet the UMass Minutemen still don't know who they will play. Let's welcome in their head coach, Derek Kellogg. And coach, you will get the Iowa-Tennessee winner. How difficult is it to prepare for two different programs? Well, it's really uh, totally changes the meeting we had before the uh, selection show where, um, you know, coaches were given their duties for after the show of who was going to scout and how we were going to do things. So now we really have to worry more about UMass and, and our style of play and what we're trying to do than, than, uh, than the opponent. Um, you know, I've watched a bunch of college games this year. I've seen Iowa play a bunch in Tennessee. So I'm pretty familiar with both teams, but uh, they actually play somewhat contrasting styles. And, and now we just, uh, you know, it's going to be more about the Minutemen than it will be about our opponent come, uh, come Friday. Coach, you said you've watched both teams. Is there one you wish to play over the other? Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> no, you never I, know. I think both of them do um, different things really well. Um, Iowa, as you know, uh, scores the ball and is putting up, uh, I think, over 80 points a game. Tennessee, on the other hand, has uh, played very well as a plate. Uh, I watched them in the SEC uh, coming down the stretch in the tournament, um, and they've played, uh, they've played really well. So uh, I'm not sure uh, who's going to come victorious out of the game, but I do know uh, either one will be a tough opponent, and uh, we're going to have to play well to, uh, to win in advance. Coach, your team started off the season red hot but struggled a little towards the end with losses at Dayton and Duquesne and then against GW in the conference tournament. What is the one area you'd like to improve over the next couple of days? Well, I think we got to improve defensively and uh, rebound in the basketball. When we do those things at a consistent level, uh, we, we really push the ball offensively, and that gets, uh, gets us going a little bit. We haven't shot the ball real well uh, as of late, and if we can make some threes, put the ball in the basket, we're able to set our defense, get into our press, and, and force tempo. We're a team that likes to get a lot of shots up at the basket. We like to force tempo. And when we def uh, play good defense, rebound the ball, that allows us to get in transition and, and really force tempo. Coach, a common phrase this time of year is guard play wins in March. Your senior guard, Chaz Williams, has been such a big part of your team's success, leads the team in both points and assists. How important is his production as you try to survive in advance now? Well, and him being a senior point guard, I think uh, – Lends to the uh, credence of having older, more mature players uh, is, is great during tournament time. Um, and Chaz, especially now in his senior season, came back with a mission of trying to get UMass back to the tournament, um, a place we haven't been in 15 years. And uh, to this point, he's, uh, he's reached his goal of getting us there. And I think he also wanted to advance and, and continue to play. So uh, we're going to go with our senior point guard and uh, give him the... Uh, stability that he needs and then hopefully uh, win some basketball games. Well, Coach, this has got to be special for you, too. First time in the dance as a head coach. How will you enjoy it with your guys? Well, we, uh, we, we've we already kind of enjoyed it before the uh, selection show today. We, we met, and uh, it was a pretty emotional time as far as just letting the guys know how much I appreciate the hard work and dedication that we've put forth that, you know, we're kind of making history here at UMass with the, the NCAA tournament drought. Um, we had a great selection show uh, here in town, and had a lot of family and friends and, and people that were are dear to the program. And the guys uh, had some good elation and, and spent some time with each other. Uh, but now, uh, starting uh, really starting now and into tomorrow, it becomes a business approach once again that we're going to – we're here. We're happy that we made it to the tournament. But I think uh, we'd be selling ourselves short if we didn't try to make a run and, uh, you know, win some basketball games. Succeeded UMass. Go and dance. And Coach Kellogg, thanks so much for the time. Good luck in the tournament. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you having me.